what's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time Hasbro Pulse decided to do a live stream, but also they showed off this 4-pack for Legacy United. So this carries over from what they did with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee lineup, where they did it in Kingdom, they did it in the Legacy First Chapter, and then they also did it for Legacy Evolution. And so, yeah, they're doing it again with United. These are pretty decent value if you're definitely into pretty much all the figures, or at least most of them. And I will say, out of everything, I think Tarn is the least interesting to me, only on the fact that I have Tarn already. Now, this is going to be a different version of Tarn, but essentially you are getting basically the same figure. It's basically the same character. So if you already have that Tarn, you're probably not going to be super thrilled about that. But what I'll say is this. If you want, this could be another version of Tarn like in the Cyberverse show because this is apparently the Cyberverse Universe version of Tarn. So they're taking that original comic universe design and they're just going to recolor it uh, a little differently. Essentially, it's still a black and purple version of Tarn, but there's a lot more dark red this time. A lot more of the solid plastic is dark red. And I love the scoop. I like the changes they made with the color orientation, like what they do with the feet. I like the cannons on top. I like that there's a lot of black. I like that it's very dark in this form. But then you take a look at the robot mode and the purple really seems to come out especially on the head sculpt the feet uh, you can see a little bit of gold on the waist which I'm not sure really blends with the rest of the figure just because it's using a lot of this lush purple and then just pure black and then this blood red the gold just kind of feels like it's out of place but otherwise yeah if you missed out on Tarn this is another chance to get it and I think that's perfectly fine it's just the fact that this is part of a multi-pack and I already have a Tarn I don't really need this specific Tarn but you know, it's fine, and, you know, it's part of the Cyberverse universe, so at least there's kind of a reason to get it. Anyways, moving on, we also have Tarantulas. Now, this is one that I had to make a correction on from the previous video. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, Tarn will come with the sword that came with Bludgeon, but in purple. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, Tarantulas is actually going to be based on the concept version of... That was seen in some of the commercials. I didn't catch on to that right away. I would tried looking for different variants of Tarantulas. I even tried looking for the Black Arachnia because the original toy shared the same mold, but I couldn't find anything. Uh, one of the key things about the original concept was it used transparent orange. This one's just going to use solid orange, but I think that actually works. It's almost like a monstrous glow to this figure, and I, I think that works with the gray limbs. They almost look soft, which if you've seen a tarantula, that's kind of how they look because they're kind of fuzzy. And uh, I like the rugged texture of the back. I like the little arms at the front there. I love the teeth. You know, it's the typical tarantulas. I love this figure a lot, so, uh, you know, I'm on board. It's not the most exciting in this pack, but it's not something I'm definitely against. And then take a look at the robot mode. So they're reusing that black arachnia head that they used in the original 4-pack. So it kind of comes back around to this. And uh, yeah, it looks cool. Apparently this kind of olive, uh, olive metallic color scheme is similar to the one from the original Tarantulas. So if you put them next to each other, they're going to have some similarities. And uh, of course he's going to come with the same weapons. But uh, yeah, I, I think it looks fine. I'm not sure if the head works as well as the original toy. But, you know, it's fine. Anyways, taking a look at Squeeze Play. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I love this. First of all, it's a cobra with crab, oh, sorry, crab arms. And I thought that was a cool idea from the original, you know, toy. But not only that, his name is Squeeze Play. That's just funny to me. I never thought that we would get this simply because the name is ridiculous, but... Apparently, they're not afraid to make a squeeze play, so I'm curious to see what else they'll do, because they did mention that they want to do pretty much all the Titans and Headmasters across the board, so I imagine they're going to do Terrible again, they're going to do a couple of other characters, and another cool thing about this is I mentioned the original Kingdom pack with the Black Arachnia head. Technically, this also goes back around because we had Fangry in the first one. But, uh, yeah, I love the color scheme with the blue and the purple. It's very lush. I like the Titan Master, and I, I think it looks fantastic. I love the frill at the top of the head. That looks nice. And, you know, the, the arms are definitely the legs for the robot, but that was part of the original toy. Uh, apparently, this is a rework of Mind Wipe, which you can see how the canopy opens, and then you can see how the legs transform. It's pretty obvious, but you can definitely see that there's a lot of reworking 
uh, going on with the legs and, and such. And uh, there he is in robot mode, so you do get that spike shield. I love the stats at the front of the chest. That's something from the original Headmaster toy line. You would plug in the Headmaster, then you would get the stats in the chest. I think the feet look fantastic, especially with the toes and the heels sprayed out like that. And then... I love the weapon because I mentioned this before, that is a reference to the Browning figure, if anyone gets that reference. So uh, it's kind of like Megatron, just it was brown. So it's based on that specific pistol. I thought that was a cool touch. So yeah, he looks awesome and the head sculpt looks good. Uh, some people are speculating that's the original Titan Mask toy. I'm not sure if it is. It looked like some of the details are a little more cleaned up, but if it is, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, anyways, moving on, we also have Cliff Tripper. So this is the last of the four pack. There is still other things I needed to talk about. So this alt form kind of reminds me of a Dodge Charger rather than his original alt mode, but I kind of like this for Cliff Jumper. I love the fact that they took the chase mold, which was super obvious. They even mentioned that people clued into that with the pipes on the side and they gave it the horns i love that you gotta have cliff jumper with the horns if you're going for the prime style and this is something i feel like i need in my collection because i have so many versions of the prime cliff jumper i don't even know why i have so many different versions of it i have some in box some out of box some hard to find ones and so this one more than a decade later I guess I kind of need it. And then you can see all the weapons attached onto the back. And I think it looks really good in red. Uh, take a look at the robot mode. And yeah, that is just, it, it makes so much sense now that this is Cliff Jumper. And you do have that grapple weapon. We'll talk about that in a second. But the way the arms transform with the wheels at the top there do kind of remind me of the original toy. I think that for the first edition, they were on the lower arms. But I think in the Robots in Disguise one, they were on the upper arms. I don't know. It, it reminds me that the wheels are on the arms. Uh, but uh, yeah, the torso is the key thing. That reminds me of Cliff Jumper. I love the new head sculpt. I think that looks fantastic. The stylized horns and the face. You know, it kind of reminds me of that War for Cybertron design that they recently did. But I think that this is going to be a new sculpt. And then another cool thing that they decided to do was if you combine one of the blaster pieces that attach to the hooks, and then you attach the blaster piece that also combines with the hooks but makes the, the claw weapon you will be able to get the triple barreled weapon so that was something that was really clever with this toy and then also it almost looks like he's completely split in half like the show but uh yeah i'm on board mainly for cliff chipper the rest of them i'm totally fine with as well but mainly it's this now another cool thing and i didn't think they would show the renders for this but we got this package and it doesn't have anything inside. It looks like it's going to be a windowed package, if I'm not mistaken, just the way this is shown. Now, it's not getting the Bumblebee, or the Buzzworthy Bumblebee treatment. And this pretty much confirms that Buzzworthy Bumblebee is dead in the water. They're not continuing that. And I think that's fair. We don't need Buzzworthy Bumblebee. In fact, they pretty much scrap Buzzworthy Bumblebee entirely when nothing was related to Bumblebee. It was just random repaints and characters that had no acknowledgement characters that weren't that were in series that didn't even have bumblebee so how does that make sense uh but uh yeah this is technically part of a versus pack so they constantly show versus kind of like how they did with the cascade set and uh yeah it's gonna be tough for cliff jumper because the last time he took on a bunch of decepticons that didn't really work out but a cool thing about this is that they're all from different universes. So you have Cliff Jumper from the Prime Universe, you have Tarantulas from Beast Wars, you have the Squeeze Play from G1, and then you have Tarn from Cyberverse. So, yeah, I thought that was nice, and uh, yeah, I definitely want to get the multi-pack with all the um, characters that you can army build. I thought that was pretty cool, and that never showed up here. So, I'm hoping that this one does, because I really want to get that Cliff Chopper. I think that looks fantastic. The squeeze play, especially, looks awesome. But, I guess we'll have to wait and see. With that out of the way, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.